Okay, guys, we're back. Let's talk to Solace. Meditate. The Dalish prisoners escaped safely. We got them away free and clear. Good. Whatever my frustrations with them, it feels good to have helped my people again. Thank you for allowing me to help. The chance to infuriate Elganon was a reminder of simpler times. Last time I got his attention, he got angry enough to come after us with the Blighted Dragons. Hopefully this baits him into a mistake we can use against him. Every act of resistance is a thorn in his side. He will break soon. When we first met, I saw you only as a foolishly confident child who disrupted my plans. You were... an irritant. I gave you information to oppose Algernon out of necessity, but I expected you to be nothing more than a tool. Seeing you with your team... I was wrong. I appreciate you saying that. Couldn't have been easy. The only thing worse than being wrong is realizing it, but being afraid to change. Elganon's pride is no greater than mine, but he denies any failure on his part, and I at least try to acknowledge my mistakes. Your team trusts you, and you listen to them. It is impressive and enviable. You work together with a camaraderie. It took me centuries to build in my rebellion. So what do we do next? Elganan and Gilanain are preparing the dagger they will use for their ritual to pierce the veil. Elganan's power is tied to light and darkness. He will need to perform a ritual during the next eclipse. That gives us some time to prepare. It is likely to be your last chance to do so. You must be ready for whatever comes. For this world and for the team that trusts you. I know that you will do everything in your power not to fail them. So now Elganarn's recovered his own Archdemon, and the gods only need an Eclipse to complete their dagger. We saved the Dalish, though. That's important. But now Elganarn's immortal, so long as his Archdemon lives. And we all know how hard those things are to kill. We killed Razakil, didn't we? After losing hundreds of Wardens, and it took a centuries-old trap to do it. We don't have either of those. Not anymore. Just when you think the tide's in your favor, it turns right back. Okay. We always knew this was going to be hard, right? And yeah, maybe it's a little harder now. More than a little. But either we stop this, or all of Thedas falls. So we see it through. All the way. Because no one else is going to. Nice speech, Rook. But it's hard to complete a contract if you don't know where the target is. We found the gods before. Not without help we didn't. So we get help again. We've got allies everywhere now. I can think of a few options, but... I'm open to suggestions. Wardens have run dry. Nothing new is moving in the deep roads. And the Veil Jumpers couldn't find any trace of Elgernon or his Archdemon. The Crows may have something. The Untam are moving large quantities of supplies out of the city. Weapons, armor, gadlock. And food. About half are remaining provisions. Enough to feed the Untam Navy. Given the timing, it seems unlikely to be a coincidence. Wherever those supplies are headed, that's likely where we'll find the gods. Any more details from the Crows, Lacanis? They said the Antam have long work ahead. We have time. Also, Biago would like a meeting. At your earliest convenience. From him, that means important, but not yet urgent. We've got options for what we do next. Figuring out where the Antam are taking those supplies should put us on the God's Trail. Not to complicate things, but the Inquisitor also wants to meet Rook. Right. With everything she's been doing in the South, we owe her an update. 
I'll let her know. Today could have gone better, but it could have gone much worse. We fought off the Venatori and rescued the Dalish. That's a win by any standard. Rest up. And be ready to go. Next time the gods appear, let's make sure it's the last. Let's go, guys. If I fall here, well, that's a pretty bad jump. Fall. On your own people. And how precisely would you have suggested? I can't believe you're defending them. I am not defending anyone, Jakobus. You're letting them be a part of this? My cousin died because the governor didn't stop the Antom from Jakobus. No. I'm not going to stand around and listen to this. I'll see you later. Well, now that that unpleasantness is dealt with, about your mysterious informant. Whoever they are, they know the Antan and Treviso. Your message made it sound like this informant also knows where the gods are staging their ritual. Treviso does not need this troublemaker. This should be left to proper officials. It very much concerns Rook. We have a contact who offers access to the Butcher and privileged information on the gods. A chance to find your gods and to free the city. A prize for both our causes. We need both. If we're strong, we can stand against anyone. Someone else seems to think so. The contact knows the city and the Antam. How do you know it's for real? They gave us patrol patterns. Dreadnought arrivals, their information is real. And you didn't share this with me? The bookkeepers can bookkeep when the meeting is done. When and where do we meet? They'll be in the market. And they ask for me, not you or Viago. You help this city, and you're helping all of Thedas. You've earned respect. We just don't know from whom. I'll talk with this mystery contact. And the rest of us will hope not to get caught in your crossfire again. We fight for everyone. And the chance to strike at the gods and the Antam? It's worth the risk. Good luck, Rook. See what this mysterious informant can give us. The meeting is in the market, Rook. They implied you can't miss them. Try not to damage anything. Journal. About I feel like we're the approaching the end. Oh, can I buy anything here? Oh, exciting. Let's dig around some more. Unknown contact. Sounds like a trap. Bold to try to trap a crow fighting the gods. I'm at least curious. Our informant actually knows where Elganon and Gillanin are performing their next ritual. It's worth the risk. Nev, I just wanted to say what you did 
back in Arlathan. Thank you. Really, you're a good friend. A really, really good friend. You helped me as much as I helped you. But you're welcome. I never had a sister, but well, you're one to me. And that means a lot. Trying to pull the heartstrings. Seems like a pretty good helmet, actually. Me too, Bell. And right back at you. The ant can make the man. The market never stops. If they got anything else. During occupation. <laughs> So many things you could buy. <laughs> How do you choose? Okay. Yago and Taya said our informant is somewhere in the market. Let's find them. I just hope their supposed information about the god's location is actually true. There's no need for that. Treviso is the trap, not this meeting. Please. So tense. I promise I'll signal when it's time to fight. Strange way to ambush someone. <laughs> I don't have to ambush anyone. You think I couldn't just march on the crows? Scattered on town flock to me. I have the soldiers to raise your casino and every inch of this city. But I'll bet there's no profit in actually winning. Hmm. There's money being made by the occupation, but not by me. I said Treviso was the trap, and I meant it. The jewel of Antiva. She sings even while caged. Such purity in every stone. It's trapped my heart. I love this city. You have a strange way of showing your affection. I conquered it. I didn't betray it. Not like the cattle born here. You know there are traitors here. They ransom their own city. Literal gods stock the land, but these filth worship their own purses. But you... You're different. You crows stay true to your roles. It means something when you die, and even more when you kill. You're as much a work of art as this city. And you... want a secret from me. If you really do love this city, you'll tell me where the gods are holding their ritual. <sighs> the gods, <laughs> they give strength. But all they ask in return is everything. I can feel their corruption. I can hear their whispers. They're calling for a ritual. If I give in, I'll know where you need to go. But I will lose my jewel. My city! So... You live in a casino. Let us make a game of this. I will become what the gods want. Welcome their whispers. Meet me and show me if the crows deserve my city. I was not expecting that. The 
Put you under contact, and he's heading himself all to the fight. Finish them off. We need to go after the butcher. So the butcher wants me to prove I'm crow enough to be worthy of Treviso. That's what's happening? He's given into the gods' corruption. Everyone's acting like normal. Like the butcher hasn't gone nuts. So they don't know. Or it's easier to play along. Safe to keep your head down, I guess. Hear the shift in his voice. Where is this guy? He's a reaver and fighting his own Anton. How's that thing going to tell us about the gods? We have to hope he's still in there. How do we get to him? How do we get across, damn it? Oh, and it took a lot of his life. Stone Island. The butcher didn't lie, for whatever that's worth. That was the trade he wanted. He got the death he wanted. Good trade, I guess. And he gave us the information we came for. Yes, truly the butcher was a paragon of honor and virtue, and we are all devastated to see him go. Eventually. And now you have a location for your final pointless confrontation. The gods are at Tearstone Island. Isn't that what you wanted? A chance to die a hero's death? So go, leave Treviso to those who deserve it. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Governor? Oh, please, just say what you're thinking. You sold the crows out to the Antom. I kept Treviso safe, protected. Unlike you crows, I had to think ahead. You know what the Antom did elsewhere in Antifa, and in every other city they occupied. You and your troop of fools would have gladly provoked the Antom to slaughter. I gave them the crows, so they would not take the rest of the city. I gave them an inch, so they would not take a mile. The Antom took their mile, and anything else they damned well please. And they'll keep doing it. Because you'll keep letting them. You didn't prevent a slaughter, you just postponed it. If you hadn't killed the Butcher! Someone else would have. He decided he wasn't their pawn anymore. The gods would have killed him. And then you would be ruled by someone much, much worse. <laughs> You should have been a politician, Rook. Instead of wasting your talents with that gang of circus rejects. But this city is mine. 
We need a real leader. You know who else wants a leader? The Antam. And if someone plays the role they want, they are very accepting. They also understand that bringing order to Treviso requires the purging of disruptive elements that cause nothing but chaos. So go to Tearstone Island. Have your little showdown with the gods, fight your pointless battle, and leave the city to me. It makes sense now. Every decision they made shows it. The other officials, of course, know nothing. Of course. I'm surprised they even remember the governor's name. I take it you heard? The butcher's dead. And in his place is the traitor we knew was lurking. And the Antam fell in line? Venshi is apparently playing the role they won. The governor has given them a clear purpose. They were more cunning than I thought. If only we'd figured out it was a Venshi before all this started. I wish the same. But regret does neither of us good. We knew someone had delivered Treviso to the Butcher. You brought us their name. The hand that leashed Treviso. The Butcher was the mouth, but the hand was Ivenchi all along. They think they have the power in the Antam, and a network doing their will. But we have the face of our enemy. Ivenchi will be hiding, so we will hound their Antam and make them desperate. When the Governor show themselves again, we end this. We'll stop Ivenchi. The gods. Did you learn where they will be? Tearstone Island. Ivenchi confirmed it before they left. We know the time to face Elgernon and Gilanain approaches, but it will not take us long to find Ivenchi. You are a crow, and you have suffered the governor's treachery. You should be here when we stop them. We'll let you know when we'll make our move. And after that? Treviso will be free. Oh, wow. Executioner's Blade. How is that? I want to use that. dozed off in your breakfast this morning, you might think about getting some rest. I did. A little bit. At least an hour. I had a thought, and that became a plan, and then it was breakfast. Just try not to fall asleep somewhere dangerous. Oh, don't worry. Lucanus gave me some coffee. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, you and coffee should mix well. And now it's rocket. These meetings can't be good for business. I'm here, Inquisitor. It isn't just Inquisitor, is it? You were someone before that. Clown Lavellan. We try to be no one you've heard of. Morrigan is holding a perimeter. We're alone. Tell me what Solus did at Elganon's ritual. Sounds like you already know. I need to hear it from you. We were up against an archdemon, and he reached out to help. Seemingly. 
You're not sure about his motives? Could be genuine. Could be self-interest. It'd have been screwed too if we didn't make it. He's never clear. But he's always thinking about where it ends. How many of his names do you know? God of Lies? Dreadwolf? Fenharel? They're titles he earned from enemies, followers, and fractured history. He and I shared another name. Vanan. Elven for heart. For my heart. You've spoken to him in your dreams. You felt the power of that mind. His love could burn against me like a bonfire. He seemed so kind, and wise, and sad, and looked at me as if I somehow mattered more than anything around us. For a time, I thought I would have followed anywhere he asked me to. Did he try to get you to come with him on his quest to tear down the veil? No. In fact, you forbade me to join him. He said he didn't want me to see what he would become. But that wasn't quite the truth. <laughs> He's a terrible liar. He's the god of lies, Inquisitor. Tricks and treachery, yes. Lies of the heart? No. He forbade me to join him because I might have changed his mind. And then he left enough clues for us to follow anyway. Hold on. You think he wanted you to stop him? His name is Solus. It means pride. Perhaps he couldn't change his mind himself and hoped that someone else could help him. Or maybe... I'm the prideful one. Imagining his broken heart so that I never have to face my folly. That I loved someone who made such grave mistakes that I might love him still. You almost sound like you're ready to join him in that prison in the Fade. To give up the world for him? No. We've got to save it first. But after? If there were a way? If he felt the same? If I could leave the world behind and just have him? I don't know. One thing I've learned in this job is that the people I need the most are people who can tell me when I'm wrong. We all need that sometimes. It sounds like that's what you were for Solus. If the two of you were better people together, and you were happy too... I was. This is all hypothetical anyway. He's trapped in the Fade with no way out. He's surprised us before. But enough about me. Tell me about embarrassing Elganon in front of all his cultists. I need to get the team around the table and talk about what's next. Tearstone Island. That's where Elganon and Gilanane will perform their ritual. With an eclipse, those two can finish their dagger, then tear open the Fade. After that, we've witnessed the horrors Gilanane creates with even a trickle of the Blight. What happens with a flood? Next eclipse is a month away. That's not a lot of time. Getting past the Antom Navy won't be easy. They'll be on high alert. We'd need our own fleet to get past them, which we don't have. If anyone can find a way around that fleet, it's us. Everything seems impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. <laughs> Varric told me that. Damn right, kid. A single boat can sneak past a blockade. We just need to find something that floats. The Antam fleet may not spot us, but the gods see much farther. Worse, they know about us specifically. They'll be waiting. I 
Let's make sure there's too many distractions for them to spot us. Sounds like you have a plan. Harding, reach out to our allies. Wardens, Veil Jumpers, all of them. Tell them to be ready to start swinging. We start in our fires, make some noise, and the gods will look everywhere for us. Except at their front door. It's worth a shot, but our allies aren't strong enough to fight a prolonged battle. We could be signing their death warrants, but it's the best plan we've got. That takes care of the approach, but what about when we get there? We'll have two gods waiting. Who knows how many on them? We'll need to be at our best. Question is, we there yet? We've still too much unfinished business nipping at our heels. There's time before the next eclipse. It's best we use it. I'll send off messages to our allies. They'll be ready. Would Morrigan help? Could Morrigan help? The world's ending. That's when Morrigan does her best work. Great. Tell Morrigan the plan. See if the Inquisitor's willing to help us. I know she's busy leading the fight in the south, but she knows this blight won't end until the gods are dead. We need to move soon, ready or not. I agree. Get some rest and be ready. So the legends about Gilanane, creating the Hala, healing pools, they were true, but twisted. Wonder if that's true with Elgernon too. I really hope not. Why is that? Well, they say he can move the sun and the moon, which seems bad for a lot of reasons. Oh, great. Well, powerful people claim a lot of tricks they can't pull. Here's hoping he's one of them. I hope you're right. Where's, where's everybody then? to help. I think I can help. Help with what? Finding Alia. I mean, I've read enough serials, the crime ones. I bet I could help. It's not that simple. The murderers in those stories, they're fantasies just waiting to be caught. And none of them are Venatori fanatics like Alia. Right. Good point. Father.
All right, let's begin now. Events are weaving together quickly now, Rook. For good or ill, the fate of the world shall be decided soon. I received Harding's missive. Your plan is sound. So the Inquisitor's in? Indeed, although she requires a few days to set events in motion. Time is needed to allot her responsibilities to those who are capable of managing them. Once settled, she has pledged herself to your cause. The snake's head must be severed, else the body simply grows anew. And what of your other allies? Will they also be ready? There is no room left for doubt or hesitation. They've been ready for every fight before. I trust they'll be prepared. As they must be, there will not be another opportunity to foil the schemes of Elganarn and Gilanane. If we fail in this, they gain all that is needed to reshape the world in their twisted image. The evil put into place with the aid of their Antum servants at Tearstone will cover the entire world. Look, the gods can't blight the world without their dagger. And they can't finish their dagger until the eclipse, which isn't for another. That's a really cool picture right there. Elkanon. While you gather your people, I will find the Inquisitor. And Rook, I wish you great luck. Elgernon just caused an eclipse. The gods can finish their dagger. We need to move now. But we were supposed to have weeks to prepare. How much time do we actually have? It's not weeks, I can tell you that much. The eclipse is slowly forcing an alignment between the stars and powerful currents in the Fade. Which means what? I'm afraid we've only a few hours until the gods complete their dagger. Gods were way too quiet after Arlathan. I should have known something was wrong. No one could have anticipated this escalation. Doesn't matter now. We're stuck with it. What will we be facing on the island? There's gonna be blight crap. And where there's blight, dark spawn. Right. Tearstone Island's also crawling with the entire Antom army. They've had time to prepare. It'll be brutal. So will the gods. We're walking right into their lair. We may not all make it out again. We're the only thing standing between every single living creature and the Blight. I don't want to watch the world fall and know I didn't do everything I could. So let's stop the gods. Whatever it takes. We're with you. The gods won't leave that island. No matter what. No matter what. Then we leave as soon as we can. I should talk with Varric too. Get any last advice for killing a god? Barak, 
I hope I'm not interrupting whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath. The gods changed all the rules. We're going in blind. The whole team is pretty sure we're going to die. And they might be right. Weird shit is happening. Of course the team's on edge. It's not a personal failing for you to be scared either. I don't know how to carry this weight, Varric. No one does. This job was always going to call for someone who could improvise. You're on this team for a reason too, you know. What I really need is a plan and less bullshit. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Better get to work. Go on. You know where to find me if you need me. Well, let's not keep the gods waiting. You know, Rook, every time I think I've got a handle on how weird magic is. Fortunate we weren't spotted coming in. A lot of dreadnoughts. One shot is all it takes. Now we just have to deal with that. Morgan didn't exaggerate. That's the entire Antom army over there. Armies are big and clumsy. We can do this. Agreed. If we move quick enough. The gods will know we're here soon, and so will the Antom. We need a distraction. One team to draw off that army, and another to stop the gods from finishing their dagger. I'll take half the team and cause some trouble down by the Antom ships. Wait, I'm the scout. I can get us around this place faster. There'll be Blight farther up, Harding. And Darkspawn. I've fought them before, and I've got the stone on my side. No one's fast enough for that many Antom. Someone has to do this, Tosh. So who will it be? Harding's right. This requires a good scout. I'll take care of it. I promise. I'll take the rest of us and get to the gods before they finish their dagger and cut open the fade. Once we're in place, Lucanis will take Solus's dagger and ambush Gilanane. Elgernon's pet. One problem at a time. As long as he has that archdemon, he's invulnerable. Concentrate on Gilanane first. We kill her. Take the god's dagger, then deal with Elgar. We should go. Wish me a little luck. You got it. Harding. Like you said back at the lighthouse, Rook. We stop the gods, whatever it takes. Who should we take? Take him. I feel like him too, so. All right, not the quickest path ahead, but we might reach the gods before we're spotted. Definitely gotta get spotted. To make him a dagger. I can feel the flight from here. Keep an eye out. <laughs> well, so much for that. Take him out before they set off the alarms. <laughs>
Where's the Kunai? They've got mortars! Sounds like a lot more Antarm across the bay. What are they saying? Something about Gilanane giving them world-crushing power. <laughs> Must be Harding's team distracting the Antarm. But they're all right. Mercenaries again. Yeah. Mages. What rank is spellcraft? Well, he knew my name.
this place used to be. Looks like just another old elven palace to me. Gods must have built hundreds. More of those mercenaries! We can't let them slow us down. Signs of the blight. Gods finish their dagger, open the fade, and unleash all the blight. And Solus was terrified of that. He may be a smug bastard, but at least a bastard with limits. And you've got a war. We have we to get a. The Antarm will be looking everywhere after hearing that. I thought we were up to him. Getting closer, I think. Oh, this looks like a boss battleground. I see uh, health all over here, so. Rug. Hey. Harding, are you okay? We drew off some Antarm, but you have to hurry. More on the way. Can you open the way out of here? I think so. Let me look. Great, one of these guys. Oh man. Two of them.
coming. We'll draw them off. Be careful. We'll meet you above. Things I would have of you, Rook. Draw closer, and you will learn what they are. Elgonon again. He's messing with our minds. Let him try. Ready for this boss battle already. Uh, no more flights on this side. On top as well. We can run for it. The intruders remain. One bears an instrument from the dreadful. They sent Solus's dagger. Our ritual gathers momentum. Power. It cannot be interrupted by mortals. I will send my creation to assist your uplift. Don't spawn. This damn thing. completely See that flash of green light? 
That's a tear in the fate. I didn't come all this way to miss our chance. Gods might be close, but they'd be gloating if they finished their dagger. If we kill Gilanane and steal that dagger, then Elganon can't unleash the blight. <laughs> Fate is blocking the way. We have to set it off. Oh. Hit with that. inside that building ahead. Another fade tear. Oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the gods' ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane. Quickly. 
Wait, wait, wait. There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. One touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? Patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way is just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. Nev, get those wards down. Carefully. I'm on it. I'll keep this Fade Tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gillanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gillanane, snatch the god's dagger and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. Ha! Got it. Nice going. Sure, but let's walk out careful. The gods will have a trap or two. Well, that is a certainty. Take the greatest care, ensuring your Tavinta mage knows the new face of her empire. You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elgadon and Gilanane are still on the island. We can save Nev if we hurry. We need to find her, Rook. The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. We can divide their attention. Good idea. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Harding and the others keep out of sight and get the Karnas to the ritual. He kills Gilane, and then we save Nev. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganard's almost completed the dagger. Where's Gillanane? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gillanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... And then Elgernon. We'll hold Gillanane's attention until Lucanus has a clear shot. Good luck, Harding. Like we said, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gillanane. this The child. 
Here's loyal to nothing but his own fears. Caught him. What am I supposed to do here? Ah, these. I'm not even sure what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Oh! <laughs> 
God damn. Solus, you had your chance, each one of you. And we don't owe you a thing. Come on. Damn, really? That sucked. Kill this biatch already. Get him in the throat. Oh, there we go. And that's the end of you, because I've been tired of you for the whole game.
regret this. So you have your victory. You live. Gelanane does not. Are you not proud? You finally reached this moment. Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <laughs> That dragon raised Minrathus. Where were you? No one's retreating. We'll all die. Stay with the second You and your friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Solus! But mortals cannot win this battle. Sorry, it is what must be. I did everything for you, Rook. You're worthless. Varric never believed in you. You are no leader. You were never up to it. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Nerve. Blood on your hands. Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. Your fault. Regret, like all emotions, is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. Such a prison can hold any captive, even you. You were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. So through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Varric. Your work is done. This is where we talked when I was dreaming. But I'm not dreaming. There has to be some way out of here. Just have to find it. to get back to the team. Hey, kid. Come on. Soul has found a way out. Now you need to find yours. Varric? He's not here. Of course he's not. So how do I get out? Solus said this prison was built to hold gods. 
built to hold gods. Unlocked by regret. I told you the enchantments were dangerous. You chose me anyway. I trusted you, and it got me killed. You're right. But we had to get those wards down. I made a choice. I live with the choices I make, the successes and the failures. We all believe in what we were fighting for, what we're still fighting for. And Nev knew what it might cost. She did, kid. We all did. Because you always chose the hard truth over the easy lie. Solus, on the other hand. Everyone's a pawn. Allies, even friends. He'll sacrifice them without a thought. Isn't that what pawns are for? Ardy. Whatever it takes. Your words, weren't they? And you were right. You gave so much to all of us. We started this fight together, Rook. You, me, Nev, Varric. And every day you've kept that fight going, even when the rest of us couldn't. You did everything for the team, brought us together, held us together when no one else could. And you never wavered, not once. So how could I? Take care of the team for me. That's what Varric told me. And we were more than just a team. We were friends. But now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. Stop Elganon. Stop Solus. And save the world. I'll make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. Now... What about mine? That's where it all began. What am I going to see there? I think you already know. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You need to listen!
way. Solus killed you. His friend. You tried to talk to him, to reason with him. And he cut you down. Pretty sure he didn't mean to. It doesn't matter. You're still dead. Yeah. Sorry about that, kid. I'm sorry, Farrick. For what? For not saving you. Shit. Didn't you learn anything from this place? I made the choice. To talk to him. To try to reach him. Even knowing the risks. Because he was my friend. My decision, my sacrifice. And you don't get to take that from me. But... Every story's got an ending. This one just came a little earlier than I planned. All this time, Harding and Nev... Why didn't anyone tell me? They thought you knew. You're the only one that wasn't in on it. But they talked to you, I remember. Nope. They talked to you. Or to themselves. You just filled in the blanks. Time to finish this story. Your story. I just know the ending's going to be killer. What happens now? To you? I'll disappear. Go back to just being a memory. Right. Hey, don't get all misty-eyed on me, okay? I had a good run. And I don't regret a second of it. What about Solus? I would have said you can talk to him. Get him to listen. But I tried that and, well, we know how that went. You're going to have to fight him. Because if he doesn't end the world, doesn't restore the ancient magic, then he's not the misunderstood hero fighting for the greater good. He's just someone who's hurt a lot of people. And he'll never let himself be that. So how do I get out of here? Listen to your team. Like you always do. This way. It's thinner here. Gotta be right. They're waiting for you. Just take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Varric. And thank you. Rook! Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. You already have everything you need. There! A light! We've got something. Get ready. I am Elganon. First of the firstborn, last of the Evanuris. Come to reign over you with fine and gentle hand. Citizens of Minrathus, give yourself to me. Together we shall unleash magic so glorious. So limitless that all the world will be transformed.
He seized control of the Archon's palace? While the Magisterium was in full session, only the Venatori seemed to have survived. How were the Shadow Dragons? Still fighting, last we heard. But Elganons blighted the city, and the Venatori magically sealed the gates. No one's getting in or out. Even the Minrathus Alluvians went dark. We can't check in with the Shadow Dragons. If it weren't for Solus, they'd already be dead. Solus? He got to Minrathis just before the gates were sealed. He saved some civilians and killed some Venatori. Now people are rallying behind the Dreadwolf, like he's the only one who can save them. He'll save them from the Blight or die trying. He's not lying about that. Though I doubt anyone rallying to the Dreadwolf's banner knows that he plans to drown the world in demons once Elgernon is dead. He can't hurt Elgernon yet. That archdemon makes him invulnerable. Right. Solus needs to kill it first. And once that's done, Solus goes for Elgernon with the dagger he took from us. That's why we need to get to Solus first. He's not going to be happy when he sees you've escaped from his trap. That's his problem. He's got the dagger, and the dagger's the only thing that can kill Elgernon. We need to get it back. We did attempt to create a dagger to replace the one Solus took. It looks similar, even feels similar, but it won't cut through enchantments like the real one does. So it cannot kill Elgernon. Looks real enough. But it is not. We don't have the right weapon to take down our target, and we lost too much killing Gilanane. We have no idea where Nev is or what Elgernon is doing to her. And Harding is... she's gone. Nev would never let us hear the end of it if we left Elgernon in charge of her city. And Harding always believed we should take the shot. They believed in this team. They trusted all of us. They aren't here to finish the fight. But we are. Get a message to anyone who's still out there. Tell them we're gonna stop Elgernon, and we need their help to do it. Then fix up your gear and take care of any unfinished business. In the morning, we take back Minrathus. Are you certain you're all right, Brooke? You know, this is crazy, though. For the first I, I, time in a while, I kind of really knew he was, but then I was saying to myself, maybe not. So, you see nobody else talking to him. You must take Dead this whole time. In the meantime. And like an M. Night Shyamalan we'll movie. Soon. the kitchen make final preparations okay guys so i believe we're going to be heading into our last mission we will save that for the next one and i will catch in that one